Yes, guys, on this video, I'm going to show you how to take one simple design that you've created and 3x the cells with this easy strategy. But guys, if you love videos on finding niches and how to make money with the digital product, all of this mad stuff, like, subscribe, smash that notification bell. And don't forget to share, guys, because you know what? Sharing is caring and all of that mad stuff. Anyways, check this out. Look, I want to show you how you can, by creating one design, you can sell it in three different ways. It's crazy. It's but simple. It's a simple thing. Now, let's say I, I have created GNOME design or a clipper, right? And I sell it as a clipper, as a standalone clipper, as a bundle, right? Um, now, look, look, gnomes are one of those things that actually people will search for and they will buy a gnome on any product. And this works specifically for these really cool designs that people like, like florals, like the birth flower, like highland cows, sunflowers. There are things and look at my check out my channel that are popular that people love, people buy all the time. And they buy it for different products, right? Gnome is a good example of this, and hence why I'm using it for today's video. So check this out. Now let's say you're selling gnome clippers designs that you created through AI Midjourney or Leonardo or something like that. Check out my videos on creating clip arts. And uh basically, look, what I like to do is these are all different kind of gnomes that have been created by the sellers. There's collections of gnomes, the floral gnomes, there's there's gnomes on a on a uh, reading books, all kinds, right? And obviously, the beauty about when you have a product that works is combining it, having that combination. So, for example, a gnome with flowers, a gnome with um, a blue gnome, um, gnome for Mother's Day. And then obviously, you might have a little twist on it. Easter gnome, Easter gnomes. So you might have eggs and, and things like that. Um, Valentine's Day gnomes. So always think about the design with the time of year, occasion, celebration, something like that. That's one angle, but you know this is not the strategy I'm talking about. That's a different strategy. Um, but look, let's say we're looking at gnomes, right? So potentially, how much can these make? Right? Let's just look at the money first of all. So in terms of the money aspect for this one design type, these bundles or these these bundle of gnomes that you create, let's say, how much can they make? So let's get specific, right? So obviously, I'm going to use Everbe, my go-to research tool to see where all of this is now i'm going to go with this one this is a 25 png only 25 images you could do this on mid journey really quickly i've actually done a video on gnomes so do check it out um and these are really cool because these are called your festive gnomes where they are times of the year that you know you've got the happy holidays merry christmas gnome um so a little collection of christmas known clip art right here okay 25 pngs simple now how much do these make? Now, these 25 PNGs make around $346. They're six-month-old listing, right? Pretty nice. Good listing. One listing making about 346 Nice. Good cash. Okay? Now, what you do is you use the same design and you repurpose it. So let's say one of these gnomes you're going to take. So you can actually use this gnome to sell in a different way. Let me show you how. Now, what you would do is um, you would then actually go onto a different product. So I'm going to type in gnome, gnome, tumbler, right? Remember what I said, you can use the same gnome for a different product. Now again, gnome tumblers, tumblers are very popular products and people buy these all the time. Now you could do it where you actually sell the actual physical product and that would be through print on demand where you actually put your design on a physical product through Printify, um, your third party print on demand provider where they can actually ship the physical product for you and that can be done do check out my videos on connecting printify as well to etsy it's all there um so you can do the physical product or you don't even need to maybe do that you can actually just sell the actual wrap itself just a simple um wrap so it would be something like this maybe where you're using that same gnome design remember that you sold as a clip art and you could put it as a as a tumblr wrap in this case you can see all it is they're getting a digital download for this right and this is what it would look like they'll get something like this um that would be sent to them so literally you're using the same design selling it under the clip art niche the design clip art niche and now you're repurposing it and selling it as a tumbler yes you would probably just need to adjust the sizing when you actually do your png design but you're using the same design okay now potentially so we looked at 396 you know Let's say oh, that listing that we saw. 
Now let's say this is another listing. This listing is a one month old listing. Oops, sorry. Now I'm going to the tumblers. Let's see how much these can make. Now obviously it varies, but this one in particular makes $440. It's a one month old listing, right? It's a one month old listing making $440, right? So can you see, look, and in this case, they've got a simple digital download, which you get. You just get a download of these PNGs. Now, what this seller's done is they've obviously made it a sort of Easter angle. So you could do something like that, where you've got like a, a design for a gnome, which is for a specific time of year. Let's say Christmas comes up. You're doing Christmas gnomes, bundle of Christmas gnomes. Then what you do is you create a design using the same gnome designs for tumblers, and you call that Christmas gnomes when that time of year comes up. Okay? So that would be your second product that you sell. And then here's a third way that you could actually sell the product, which is another fantastic easy way. Again, I like to go for the easy ways. And this is through GNOME prompts. <laughs> so you don't even need to sell the design. But obviously, you got the design, so you can use the design actually in your listing to show what the prompts would look like. Now, those of you that don't know, prompts are a string of words that create a design. Okay. So all of these that you see right now are prompts, which means that they are a string of words that you're buying that create the designs that you could see. Okay. Now let's see how much these can make these prompts. So looking at this, I've uh, I found one actually, which is this one, and this is one's a Dali three prompt, the gnome prompt bundle. So a bundle of gnomes. Um, using the DALI 3 prompts. Now, obviously, you can get mid-journey prompts. You can get Leonardo AI. These are all your design AI tools that you can use to produce the designs. But in this case, it's through DALI 3, okay? Which, again, is a good one to do because actually it's not so saturated. So this is a fantastic one. Now, the listing images that they show you for these gnomes, actually, uh, it shows you what you can produce with the prompts, okay? what the what the designs would look something like and again like it's just telling you you don't get anything physical you just get the actual uh, prompts themselves okay so i'm going to look at these um these hippie hippie gnomes right these are called the hippie gnomes there's actually only eight prompts crazy it's only eight prompts that they're selling now these are called hippie gnomes We're using the dali 3 and chat gpt version 4 um, to do the prompts now obviously you can do these prompts in many different ways through mid journey through leonardo ai but actually dali 3 is a good one to sell with in terms of prompts now how much does this actually make let's see how old it is as well now these hippie gnome prompts um, have a listing age of two months and are making 197 dollars so if you think about this right if you think and like i said there's loads of these you can see these um you can see there's loads of these and like i said you know like there are loads of these prompts. Look at these. These are loads of these actual people selling these prompts. Look, Dali 3 prompts, probably more your traditional looking gnomes there with the uh, covering the eyes. Yeah, there's actually quite a few of these. But also at the same time, there's not so much that, that there's not too much that becomes too saturated, which is good, That's, which is what you need. Look, Dali 3 again, Dali 3 prompts, Dali 3 prompts. And, you know, they may not make as much, but they. this is a growing niche, by the way. Prompts are a growing niche. Dali 3 is a very good one to get into. And, you know, you can see that Mother's Day gnomes as well. And, you know, you can imagine if you've got quite a few of these listings, they can make some good money. Yep. I mean, look at this one. This one's just one single, uh, three prompts. These are just three <laughs> three prompts, three-month-old listing making about 80-something 80, 80 dollars. Look at that. Easiest thing, right? Chat 30, chat GPT. Uh, prompts okay it's 30 that gpt so yeah this is um this is a interesting way of making up money using one type of gnome um so we can we've seen here that that almost makes for well, one design four five six seven eight nine almost like nine around nine hundred dollars per month for one design repurposed in three different ways and to be honest with you it's not only three different ways you could do if I type in gnome, um, gnome mug, right, gnome mug, I can go beyond the, th the three times sales, right? So if I go to gnome mug, you can see that actually people buy gnome mug wraps and also the physical gnome, uh, the, the physical mugs as well. And this is purely down to making sure that you're choosing the right um, type of niche to get into because there are winning niches 
that people look for all the time and the volume is big and people just like variations of that like the gnomes like i've said um and this is one of those so it's going to work for mugs it's going to work for tote bags it's going to work for tumblr wraps it's going to work for digital paper it's going to work for wall art it's going to work for everything obviously if you sub niche further make it a christmas gnome or a easter gnome then that's even better Oh look i just show you a prime example i'm going to go tote bag now this gives you just shows you that repurposing is so so cool and so easy to do look at this look tote bag look gnome on a tote bag right and there's more gnomes on tote bags but there you go so like i said some products obviously lend themselves better in terms of they will sell better in terms of like tumblers seem to do very well in t for gnomes um but what you need to do is do your research, go to ever be my go to research tool, which I can see right there. Do your product analytics, do your keyword research, and you will see which physical products they repurpose best on. And then just all you need to do is just to do hook it up to Printify. Check out my Printify. The link is in the description. And honestly, it's a really easy way to amplify and increase your sales. Guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, mate.